Swinson. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. In the light of reports that rape is being used by Gaddafi's forces as a weapon of war and the appalling arrest of a rape victim who dared to speak out, can the Foreign Secretary give us more information on the political programme announced by the ITNC on how the voices of Libyan women will be heard as active participants, given that United Nations Security Council Resolutions 1325 and 1880 make it very clear that involving both men and women is essential to have successful post-conflict peacebuilding? Uh, yes, my honourable friend draws attention to a, uh, uh, one very well-publicised case, of course, in recent days, which has been shocking to the whole world about the treatment of women by the Gaddafi regime. Uh, there are reports that that treatment is much more widespread. It is another indication of the absolute disregard uh, for human rights, for, for any understanding of human rights by that Gaddafi regime. It is a good sign. Uh, as our honourable friend pointed out earlier, uh, that that commitment to the involvement of women and to women's rights is there in the vision for a democratic Libya uh, that has been set out by the Interim National Council. Uh, this is in a culture and in a country that doesn't have that strong tradition of women in a leadership role. Uh, but let us hope uh, that that will be a characteristic of a future freer Libya.